Welcome back party people, my name is Daryl and today I'm gonna to be showing you all how you can set a tracking number to your customers for your WooCommerce slash e-commerce websites. Now whenever someone buys something on your website, it's kind of it's kind of discouraging to know that they don't get a tracking number, then you have to kind of email it to them privately. There is a new plugin that allows you to add a tracking number via WooCommerce that'll actually show up on their receipts. Now this is an example of what this plugin does and I'm actually gonna talk more about why I like this plugin, but this is just the foundation of it. So here, for example, um, your customer has received an order and basically right now we have the provider. The tracking number is right here. It shows you when it was shipped and the customer can cl click on track and it'll show them directly where to go on the website and it'll show the tracking number. Now, of course, this right here is just fake numbers. I just put this in just because, you know, I just put it in just because it's just for demo, to, uh, for total purposes, obviously. But the reason why I like this plugin is because it actively takes them to the specific part of the website for that tracking company, enters in the number, and then shows them the progress. So this is an example right here of how the plugin works. The plugin is really, really easy. It took me about three minutes to learn how to use the plugin, and I was like, okay, this is a good plugin. So right here you can see we have providers and no matter what country you're from, um, WooCommerce has picked some of the most popular providers out there. So for Brazil, Belgium, Czech Republic, Germany, uh, Italy, Netherlands, uh, New Zealand, all these countries right here. And uh, right here, the UK and the United States. And this is very important. So right here we have FedEx, UPS, all the big companies, you know, DHL, UPS, USPS, uh, basically all the big companies that we need to set tracking for our, our e-commerce websites. So this is basically how it works. Someone purchases something on your website, they get a receipt, you add a tracking number, they get notified again, and then they get this email right here. So you can say, okay, cool, I got the tracking number, or they, they bought the product, now that you can send the tracking number, now they have it, and then they won't contact you. Yes, I know, right? It's like the worst when you when someone buys something and they contact you afterwards, they go back and forth. It's like, here's the tracking number, just, just don't talk to me ever again, you know, so. Uh, this is the um, this is the plugin right here. Now, this plugin is the cheapest plugin WooCommerce has probably ever offered. It's only fifty bucks, and you guys know that I I'm not a fan of their other plugins. Like for example, WooCommerce subscriptions. I mean, this plugin costs around two hundred dollars, and the funny part is about this plugin is that you have to use memberships as well to make it work together, and that's another two hundred dollars, and then you got to pay that every single year. But the WooCommerce tracking is only fifty bucks. So it definitely is one of their cheaper plugins they've introduced that is actually very, very useful. So here's an example. You know, I'll, If you guys want to check this out, the link is below, I'll put it below. Um, it's fairly straightforward, fairly simple. So this is how it works. I'll go ahead and give you a, a demonstration of it so you can kind of understand uh, what your customers will see and you can kind of decide if this plugin is for you or not because maybe you don't want it, maybe you're using uh, Aftership, but I've used Aftership too as well and I think this plugin is just a little bit more fluid and easier, so uh, I do like it. So let's go ahead and buy something. I'm gonna buy something on my website. I'm pretending I'm a first time customer. Right? I'm just gonna buy something random. I'm shopping. These are some, oh, what are these? Who would wear these shoes? Like who who would go out and wear these? I mean, maybe you you you're, you're you're on E at the rave or something like that. I mean, that'd be the only way, you know, if you're on drugs at the rave or something like that. But I'm just going to go ahead and buy these 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 black wash jeans. Here we go. Add to cart. All right. I'll view the cart and I have a coupon code. This is a, this is a free one. Oh, it's the, the coupon code is actually free. So uh, I, basically, I don't have to pay anything right here. I'll proceed to checkout right here, and I have my information. All right, how about Avenue? Just make sure it looks different from my previous one, and everything looks good. My email is good. My gear is good. All right, place order. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this product now. All right, hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a good day too. All right, so check out, here we go. So now we have the, the order details right here, shipping address and the billing address as well. And of course, your customer is going to get an email right here, basically saying that there was an order received. So right now, this is for you saying basically, hey, you know, uh, someone bought something on your website. And then this right here is, looks safe, yeah, it looks safe. And then this right here is basically to the customer as well. Now that you have the order, so now that you've actually had the order, now you have the ability to, or you have the duty to add in the tracking number for their order, right? So over here in the orders, you're going to see that the order now displays right here. So what you could do, or what you're going to do, is you're going to click on this, of course, after you upload the plugin. So 
you, you download it, you upload the plugin. I hope you know how to do that. If you don't, if you don't, then <laughs> I'm sorry, then, then, then this video is not for you, but uh, you just upload the zip file and then there you go. So uh, here is the order details. And right here now we have the option for a tracking, for shipment tracking. Here I'll click on add, a, add tracking number and I'll go ahead and select one. We'll go ahead and select. So I just selected the, the we'll, do, we'll do FedEx, we'll do FedEx. And here is my tracking number. I will save the tracking and then over here under the add note, I'm going to let them know that the tracking number is now available. So tracking number is now available. And I'll go ahead and note that to the customer and we will go ahead and add that. All right, so now the customer has been notified that the tracking number has been sent. So let's go back over here to our email and I'm going to just refresh it for a bit. So I had to wait around six minutes and now I got the email. So right here, a note was added to your order. Right here you can see a note has been added to your order and then right here the customer now has the ability to track this uh, product without you having to intervene with the customer and then there you go. So it takes them directly to the page. Of course, I entered in a dummy number so that number was not found but you need to enter the correct number and then basically it'll take them directly to those websites without having them to you know, navigate it and trying to find out where it is. So uh, I do like the fact that WooCommerce did that. It takes them directly to the page, does everything for you, it's very automated. There is one other also amazing feature about this plugin too, that it actually displays in their account. So if they didn't get the email, if they didn't get it and they contacted you, you can always say, hey, it's in your account. So over here under orders, uh, I'm still logged in as the other person. Uh, here you can see that we have the, the orders right here. And I'll click on view for actions. Scrolling down right here, you can see that it shows them when it was shipped, the tracking number is now available. And then again, right here, they can always go ahead and track it again in their account. So even if they didn't, if they did not get the email, just say, hey, there was a problem with the email. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I know guys when, when you're dealing with emails with WordPress, sometimes it doesn't work all the time. So you can always let them know that it's in your account and now they won't have to contact you, you know? <laughs> That's what we don't, we don't want to do customer support. We want to make the money, but we don't want to do customer support. I get it. I understand. So let me know if this was helpful. I know that, um, I know tracking has always been kind of WooCommerce's weak point, but I feel that this plugin really did offer a lot. And um, that's why I decided to make this video on it. So if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys all later. Take it easy.